morning. Today is Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday for Sarah and I. But yeah, I haven't done a vlog since April, so I thought I would do one. Hi. Hi. Today I'm going to be going to Sarah's a little bit later and we're going to be filming some stuff for our wellness project. And then tonight, Lewis's family's coming over, which I'm really excited about. They live on the Sunshine Coast, so we don't get to see them very often. So this will be their first time seeing our house. You might have seen on our Snapchat as well, we got a new concrete table because this one had cracks and stuff and was faulty, but they haven't picked it up yet. They left the old one here. And it weighs a ton, like it's so heavy. It probably takes about four guys to, to pick it up. So we just had to leave it there and I've called them, but nothing yet. Let's talk about morning routines. On Monday, I did a post on my new Robin Louise Facebook page. If you haven't liked it, go like it. Um, talking about morning routines and how you're setting yourself up going into the week. I think it's so important to have a morning routine because if you wake up every morning and you sort of don't know what you're doing, how are you setting your intentions? How are you feeling productive, motivated? How are you going to get your goals done for the day? So waking up and having a routine is really important. Me. As a lot of you would already know, I wake up, I oil pull, I shower, I have my one liter of lemon water, and then I jump onto my computer. I'll usually listen to my audio book while I run around the house cleaning up, or I'll put on one of my favorite songs and I'll just start dancing. What a better way to set your frequency for the day than feeling motivated and charged and positive. If you have any particular things that you do of a morning that I haven't mentioned here, let me know. I'd love to know what you guys do, how you guys wake up. And I truly do believe it makes such a big difference and really does set you off on the right foot for your entire day. This morning for breakfast, I'm just gonna make a strawberry and mango smoothie, purely because that is the only frozen fruit I have in the house at the moment. I have to go grocery shopping and do some bulk freezing. <laughs> I have a heap of pineapple, like a whole entire drawer of pineapple, plus I have a fresh pineapple, so I'm just gonna get some more so I can add some things to the pineapple. Sorry I kept you waiting Forever and a day But now we're out here together How's your morning, baby? My morning's pretty bloody good. How you going, vlog? Mm. It's been so... I feel like we haven't, like, filmed it. Like, you haven't... I've seen... It's been a long time. Yeah. This smoothie is really good, by the way. Mm -hmm. It matches the color of your... Mmm! What's in that? Strawberries and mango. It's really good. Tastes like, um... Tastes like Vovo. Remember those Vovo sugary biscuits? With the pink icing on top? Yeah, but they had coconut in it. Tastes like that. Have you had a good morning? Yeah. Just um, replying to Snapchat. I spent an hour replying to Snapchat already this morning. I haven't done, I haven't done uh, the IP post. I haven't done my Insta post. I haven't done any tweet. I got a lot of work to do. I gotta go work. <laughs> Me too. Look at this weather. Isn't it beautiful? With nothing standing in no way. Can you feel the attraction? Because we've got Lewis's family coming over tonight, we really don't want this table in the middle of our kitchen slash house. So Lou and I are going to try our very best and slide this big thing downstairs to the garage. No, nah, we'll have to be separate. So you take the lid and I'll take the rubbish. Actually, this might be taking a couple of can you feel it between us? <sighs> there we go, all done. I had to change my shirt because I got way too hot. But we are heading out to get some groceries for tonight now. While you're watching it confused, just back up a little bit and find out what confusion you hit. We're obsessed with Grant Cardone at the moment. Such a boss. If you haven't read his book yet, 10x. Go do it now. I've mentioned it in my Snapchat and everything. Go watch it. I liked what Grant said earlier this morning on Snapchat about people whinging and bitching and complaining. Have you seen that part yet? Yeah. Oh my god. He's like, he was saying that like he's just written a, like a little booklet, like a little mini book. 
It's 4.95 US, and then apparently, must people must have been snapping in, contacting him, saying that complaining in the UK and Australia about how the yeah. shipping's too much for them or something. That's like you do, and he addressed it. I'm glad he addressed it because yeah. it, people are complaining and whinging and bitching too much. They don't figure it out and like transcend the opportunity that is there. People spend too much time whinging and bitching, complaining. Like he said, why didn't you reach out to me and say how can I buy the rides? So that I can, I can, I can get, I can sell them in Australia and the UK. No one ever thought about that. They're too busy complaining about it. Yeah. Where they had an amazing, incredible opportunity. They found a problem, but instead of coming up with an opportunity to fixing it, solving the problem, they they spend their energy complaining about it. I love Grand Cardone. Moral of the story: Stop whinging, stop bitching, and follow Grand Cardone. I want to add something to that because it's come up in my life over the last couple of weeks as well. I find that what sets people apart from the people who are successful and whatever that form of success is for you, it doesn't matter. But what sets you apart is the people who whinge, bitch, complain and are victims, victimize themselves to the people who are avidly wanting to better themselves and are results orientated. That's what sets them apart. And you can either be a victim and complain and whinge about your life or you can be somebody who is aware of what your circumstances are, but then goes and does something about it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You've got to be aware of where you are, but then you've got to springboard out of it. If it's not a result that you're happy with staying at, you've got to springboard out of it. You've got to get out of it, right? Yeah. yeah. Car lessons with Lewis and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> we should start a YouTube channel, Car Lessons. <laughs> like Salamondra. Yeah. ET as well. <laughs> Let's go for a drive, is on their way. How's your afternoon been, babe? Uh, it's been like this, to be been honest. Like that? Yeah. I'll try and show you, I'm making curry tonight. So um, I've already got the potato and sweet potato in the oven, and I'm about to start on all the veggies. I'm just gonna quickly stop for a second to show you this sunset. It is beautiful. It seriously doesn't look real. It looks like a painting. The camera does not do it justice. So stunning. Almost ready. I'm just gonna let it sort of simmer and let the flavors marinate in the pot until um, they get here, but I'll show you. It smells really, really good. It's kind of like a masala. I think you'd call it like a chicken masala, but I've just made it veggie, obviously. So in there I've got peas, corn, cashews, sweet potato, potato, and I'm also gonna add in some broccoli at the end as well. Can you come taste this for me? What do you think of it? I like it. But you're into curries more than I am, so. Oh my God, I do love a curry. Temperature needs to go up. Yeah, that's why it's simmering. But flavors? Flavors are good. You like it? Flavors, flavors are bloody good. Not too salty? It's a good amount of salt. It's, I like salt. I, like I know. Salt. But for other people? I don't know. What about spicy? Should I add? No. Spicy is spot on. Uh -huh. For me, the salt's perfect. I like it. I'm really into that. That is really the best probably curry that we've made in the house. Aw, thanks, so, yeah. babe. All done, the parents just left. It was a really, really nice dinner. I really like hanging out with them. It's not very often we get to see them, hey? That's correct. That was really good. I How think do you they, think it went well? I think it went really well. Yeah? The you conversation think they enjoyed my food? Is it the conversation different between the three sets of our parents? Um, oh man. Every single... Every parent is different. <laughs> it's just so different, every one of them. Very different, all beautiful, we love them all. It has been a pretty exhausting day. I am very, very tired. So I think I'm gonna go to bed. Call it an early one. Hey, babe. What's going on? Snap you space. Vlog. I'm, doing, <sighs> um, I'm replying to all of my Snapchats tonight. Mm. This one's a pretty full on with one of those. I don't, this is one that we probably can't show on the thing, but. Wow. Pretty full on story. Some of the, um, some of the snaps and emails that we get are pretty heavy. There's some, there's a yeah. lot, that, there's a lot that goes on in the world that we don't see and hear about and stuff, you know, like a lot of Definitely. full on stories. 
People have gone through a lot. Yes, they have. Yeah, but people, they fought, like people, some people have been through a lot, but they- They get through it. They get through it, they fight, they, they do well. Mm. They, they, they move past it, eh? I just wanna end this vlog with a quick little life lesson, and that is empowerment. I'm gonna link below Lewis's video that he did on empowerment, but um, it really does mean everything when you can empower yourself in all areas of life. All right, guys, I feel like there's been a lot of life lessons in this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> like, enough with the lessons. Yeah. Robin. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, good. Isn't that awesome? <gasps> wow. wow. I like that. Can we put these in our cash? Yes, we can. I like the too. They're so cool. Like <laughs> Just yesterday. Look, there's a little gecko in our kitchen. What are you doing, buddy?